Hey there, foodies! Welcome to the latest recipe video from Crooked Recipes. Today, we're going to shake things up in the kitchen and show you how to make a delicious and unique butternut squash vegetarian lasagna with buttery red pepper sage sauce. This lasagna is the perfect meal to impress your friends and family with. Not only does it taste scrumptious, but it's also packed with wholesome ingredients that will nourish your body. And the best part? We'll make our pasta from scratch, so get ready to flex those culinary muscles. We're excited to share this recipe with you, and we couldn't have started it without the help of ChatGPT. This AI language model helped us develop some delicious tweaks to take this dish to the next universe. So, let's get started and create something truly delicious. Are you ready to indulge in the flavors of the world? Let's go! Before we start cooking, let's look at all the ingredients we'll need for this mouth-watering lasagna dish. For the pasta, we'll need 2 cups of 00 flour 3 large eggs 1 teaspoon of salt 2 tablespoons of water For the filling, we'll need 1 medium butternut squash, peeled and cubed 2 tablespoons of maple syrup 1 tablespoon of olive oil 1 half teaspoon of ground nutmeg 4 ounces of crumbled goat cheese Salt and pepper, to taste. For the sauce, we'll need the following. 1 half cup of unsalted butter. 8 to 10 fresh sage leaves, chopped. 1 quarter cup of ajvar. Salt and pepper, to taste. If you need to familiarize yourself with ajvar, it's a traditional Serbian relish made with roasted red peppers. You can find it at specialty stores or online, and it adds a unique depth of flavor to the sauce. If you need help shopping for any of the pantry ingredients, check out the links in the video description to purchase them on Amazon and support this channel. All right, we've got everything we need, let's get cooking. It's time to start making the pasta. First, take out our 00 flour, eggs, and salt. We'll use a 1 to 1 ratio of flour to eggs, so for every 100 grams of flour, we'll use one egg. Crack the eggs into the center of a well of flour, and sprinkle in a pinch of salt. Using a fork, slowly incorporate the flour into the eggs until a shaggy dough forms. Now it's time to get our hands dirty. Knead this dough for 8 to 10 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Then, let it rest for 30 minutes to an hour. This step is crucial to allow the gluten to relax, making it easier to roll out later. After the dough has rested, dust your work surface and rolling pin with flour. Cut off a small section of dough and roll it out into a thin sheet. Repeat until you use up all the dough. Once you have your sheets, cut them to fit your lasagna dish. Don't worry if they're not perfectly shaped. It's all part of the homemade charm. And there you have it. Homemade lasagna sheets ready to go. Remember to let them rest again for at least 30 minutes before cooking to prevent them from tearing during the baking process. Making the filling for this butternut squash vegetarian lasagna is where the flavors really start to come together. First, let's preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius, and prepare our butternut squash. Peel and cube the squash, then toss it with olive oil, maple syrup, nutmeg, salt, and pepper until it's well coated. Now it's time to roast the squash in the oven. We want to make sure it's tender and caramelized, so spread the cubes in a single layer on a baking sheet. Then roast for 25 to 30 minutes. While the butternut squash is roasting, let's get our goat cheese ready. We'll crumble it up so it's ready to combine with the roasted squash in a mixing bowl. When the squash is done, we'll take it out of the oven and add it to the bowl with the goat cheese. Give it a good stir to combine all the flavors. And that's it. Our filling is ready to go. Of course, feel free to get creative with your own fillings. You could try adding different vegetables or spices to make your lasagna unique. So now that our pasta and filling are prepared, 
it's time to make the sauce for this delicious dish. To make the sauce, start by melting butter in a large skillet over medium heat. As the butter begins to brown, add chopped sage leaves and cook until the leaves are crispy, which should take about 3 to 4 minutes. This step is crucial as it adds a deep and savory flavor to the dish. Next, remove the skillet from the heat and stir in the ajvar, a delicious red pepper spread that will add a sweet and slightly smoky flavor to the sauce. Remember to season the sauce with salt and pepper to taste. The final result is a rich and flavorful sauce that perfectly complements the dish's other components. But don't be afraid to experiment with your own sauce recipes. The sky is the limit when creating your own unique and delicious lasagna sauces. So have fun with it and get creative. Assembling the lasagna is the next step in creating this delicious dish. Start by spreading a thin layer of red pepper sage sauce on the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Lay a single layer of the lasagna sheets on top of the sauce. Next, spoon half of the butternut squash and goat cheese mixture over the lasagna sheets. Repeat with another layer of lasagna sheets and the remaining butternut squash and goat cheese mixture. Top with a final layer of lasagna sheets and spread the remaining red pepper sage sauce on top. Be sure to spread the sauce evenly to ensure every bite is flavorful. Cover the baking dish with foil. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius, for 30 to 35 minutes. Remove the foil. Then bake for an additional 10 to 15 minutes or once the top is golden brown and bubbly. It's important to note that the pasta should be cooked al dente, meaning it should still have a slight bite to it. This will prevent the lasagna from becoming too mushy and falling apart. Once the lasagna is done baking, remove it from the oven and let cool for 5 to 10 minutes before slicing and serving. It's now ready to be enjoyed with friends and family. And there you have it, a delicious and unique vegetarian lasagna recipe featuring roasted butternut squash, creamy goat cheese, and a savory red pepper sage sauce. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning how to make this fantastic dish. Try making it yourself and test it with your own fillings and sauces. Remember, you can find the full recipe card and detailed instructions in the blog post linked below. If you enjoyed this recipe and would like to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Crooked Recipes, for more fabulous recipes in the future. Thank you for watching, and happy cooking!